Hello and once again I am doing another Tribes video. This time I am playing the Raider. Now I never much played the Raider before because I had no weapons that I actually like using. I prefer using projectile weapons like the Spin Fuser. I didn't much like the Arx Buster which is its main weapon and the Grenade Launcher is a little bit finickety for my liking. So when the plasma rifle came out the other day I thought I'd give it a go and it turns out it is overpowered. I mean seriously overpowered. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think perhaps the projectiles are too big because I can get some stupidly accurate hits on this thing. So the map we're playing on today is Outskirts. It's based on a map from another mode and as such isn't actually designed for this mode. It just sort of put some checkpoints in places and uh, didn't really think about balancing it much. So yeah, it is a nice little choke point. And as such what normally happens on this map is that people just go juggernauts or they just go brute or whatever, just get heavy weapons and just lob grenades and fusion mortars into A because that just kills everybody and that's how you normally get like 20 plus kills however not this time i am going to get more of these you're going to see 12 airmail kills in this video that was two already and manic depression is going to be incredibly depressed by the end of the video i'm sure i get him quite a few times maybe not airmail kills but i get over 30 kills so i think i pretty much kill everybody on the server at least once so I'm going to go straight for B. I don't get any kills this time because I'm going to get completely owned. But just watch this. Yeah. That is basically what I do to people except with my plasma gun rather than being it from a, a turret. So I'll just take it and get blown up because there was a claymore mine there. And I'm an idiot who didn't bother checking so that guy uh, killed me. I think he does get me quite a few times but never mind. So we have all the points and we're getting lots of score. You'll see us having all three points quite a lot during this. I don't know if the other team is any good, but... But, you know, it is a public game, so... You know, you're going to expect some pretty shit one-sided games sometimes. But I'm just going to go in, and... This this time I remember I have the... You know, I think I see these guys, and then I remember I actually have that pack on. And there we go, another airmail kill. And I get killed by a shotgun. Yeah, so I'm currently using the jammer pack because I forgot to take it out because I was playing Capture the Flag earlier. But it does actually come in quite handy when assaulting this checkpoint because it stops the turrets from targeting you, which is quite nice. And that turret is a bitch. So here we go, I've just gone in with my jammer pack on, two kills, turret can't get me, three kills, capture the point. Oh dear, there's a turret. Right out of energy, turret kills me as I do myself a lot of self damage in the process. So yeah, I got a triple kill there. I don't know if any of them were airmail, so it didn't come up. I didn't notice it, but it might be. But here we go. Another one. Never mind. This gun is definitely not overpowered. I swear there is something wrong with this gun because I am crap at this game sometimes. And yet, it just seems to be kill after kill after perfect shot. And it's, it's scary. I normally finish top 5, top 6 sometimes, I very rarely make it to the top, I very rarely make it above 20 kills. Um, this one was exceptional, this was the one I decided to video, and I did so well with it, it's scary. I mean, even, even before I was playing Capture the Flag, I was getting like 20 kills easily, and I was coming in halfway through the game. This was from the start, and I don't know, it just seems too easy. So I'm going into this point again, I'm going in jammed, we have a technician here who was just standing still, but I get another airmail kill and a revenge, which is fantastic. So now we get the sentinel dropping down, he was trying to snipe us, obviously it didn't work, so he's come down to drop jammer somewhere and all his friends come in and are jammed and are covered in that static that I'm also covering my teammates in, so it's a bit of a blind clusterfuck here now, but I think I get some good kills, I don't really know if I get any airmail kills. Yes I do! That was close on the borderline though. And I ran into the guy's claymore mine. He's still running about up there somewhere. But it's just this is just going backwards and forwards all the time. This is what uh, capture and hold normally boils down to is fighting over a point, constantly running over it until everybody's dead. Because the last thing you want to do is have them 
with that turret activated because it hits like a truck and it's accurate so long as you're travelling in a straight line. If you dodge, you can dodge it, but if you don't see it coming, you can get blindsided. So this gun, compared to my normal weapon of choice, which is the spin fuser, they're very similar in some ways, but so different in others. It's like all the little things about this gun combined together to make something that's incredibly overpowered. It hits for less than the stock spin fuser. The particles travel, I think they travel slower actually than the stock spin fuser. The seem to have a smaller impact radius. When they hit the ground, they have a smaller radius with which they damage people with. They knock back less. They do less damage with the damage fall off, seemingly. But there's a higher rate of fire. And the higher rate of fire is what makes this so much better than the spin fuse. Because you, you're missing doesn't actually cost you all that amount of time. With the spin fuse, you miss. You get someone else on your ass very quickly. The it is if you if you're going one on one with someone with a spin diffuser, you you're screwed. If you miss one, they are then got the upper hand on you. It's like a battle between the timings. If you can time it right, then you get hit and you win. With this, this is the only weapon I have managed to repeatedly get direct hit kills with. I can't get direct hit kills with the spin fuser. I've tried my damnedest, I just can't seem to do it. But with this, it just seems ludicrously easy. I don't know, maybe it's a psychological thing. Maybe it is just because the hitbox on the projectiles is stupidly huge. I don't know. I mean, we need to see when the patch comes out whether or not that's true, but to me it feels like the projectiles are bigger. The projectiles hit people easier than the spin fuser discs. And that just conspires to make this gun ridiculously powerful. When I'm playing with a spin fuser, what normally happens is you wait for them when to go near the ground, wait for them to land or go near a wall, and you fire at the wall. You don't fire at them, you don't go for the direct hit, or try and go for the direct hit, but you try and go for the direct hit when they're against the wall so that you at least get splash damage. However, with this, I'm perfectly comfortable doing shit like that. It just aiming at them while they're in mid-air about 200 metres away from me and getting hits. It's just, it's... Maybe it is a psychological thing. Maybe it's just confidence that this gun is a gun rather than a, a disc shooting thing. But it it's just such a difference between yesterday and today. Yesterday I was using the spin diffuser. Today I am using the plasma gun. Yesterday I was getting between 10 and 15 kills at maximum. Now I am regularly getting over 20. Why? I don't know. Is it the Raider? Don't think it's the Raider because the Raider has exactly the same armour capacity as the Soldier and my Soldier uses the Spin Fuser, which I've been using since day one variations on the Spin Fuser with the Pathfinder and with the heavies, the uh, heavy Spin Fusers. I've been using the Thumper grenade launcher on my technician and to be honest I hit okay with the thumper but I don't get mid-air kills with the thing and that's really the problem I have with the plasma gun is that it seems overpowered but it may not be however that was probably one of the stupidest things I have ever done running into my own orbital strike yes although I did get three kills after I died which counts aftermath, so I get 600 points for killing myself. I should run into my own orbital strikes more often and get more points that way. So yeah, you know how I said I was not going to go into A? That's what happens when you go into A. Cluster bombs, sticky grenades, all sorts, disco mines, disco grenades. I'm just going to... I think I just keep going into A here. For shits and giggles, because I'm bored doing this. Because one, here's another air mail kill. You got red on you. <laughs> Another one. The fuck? It's just insane. And I've got another orbital strike already. Although I don't use it quite just yet because I'm indoors and that would be pointless. And just needs to be a lot of uh, diamond sword in here. So let's go inside. I'm just going to start bombing these at me. Doesn't matter. Manic depression killed me with a plasma gun! That's not ironic in the slightest, so let's just 
blow a tactical strike on their arses. Actually, I could go for an orbital strike. I'll go for an orbital, orbital strike. Here we go. Don't run into this one. Oh, crap. Oh, some more. I'm not even it. Some of them I'm not even aiming at. There we go. Another airmail kill. Some of them. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's just insane. I just keep hitting them. And sometimes it doesn't. On my screen, it doesn't look like I'm, I'm anywhere near them when it goes. But yeah, this is a stupid idea. Totally stupid idea. Totally stupid idea. I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna die. Yeah. There we go. I mean, the thing about Trials Ascend is you can't actually call this something like pay to win because you can unlock this gun with XP. With playing the game, you can get this gun. It's not. Uh, okay, it's difficult because it costs so much to get guns in general. But this isn't really any more expensive than any of the other guns in the game. And there's another airmail kill that we're going for. <sighs> it's infuriatingly simple sometimes. Getting a kill with this web, just easy, easy. You can just point and shoot and aim in the general direction. Normally things fall down dead. Uh, it's, it, I don't know if, maybe I'm getting better. Or maybe I'm just giving myself too much credit, I don't know. But it does seem like I'm getting far too many kills for my skill level with this web. Maybe it's just my perfect weapon. I don't know how other people find this weapon. Whether or not they find it worth using because I've seen a lot of people use it now but that could just be new weaponitis because I know that happened with Team Fortress so <laughs> when they brought out the, the spy update everyone was a spy and engineers everywhere cried out in pain. Uh, <laughs> myself included because I mainly play pyro engineer and demo man so yeah it was kind of a mixed bag that patch for me. I like playing the pyro, so I like to kill a lot more spies, but also like playing the engineers, so I like to kill by a lot more spies. This game is starting to turn into that as well, because the infiltrator update. The infiltrator update added a lot of new weapons for the infiltrator, and they're adding them in one class at a time. Admittedly, there's not so much of a big di distance, difference in time between these patches, because that was, what, two weeks since, two, three weeks maybe since the infiltrator patch? And now we've got new weapons for this. They're bringing out weapon, new weapons and new skins for everything all the time. So it's not like you're going ages without any new content and everyone just plays spy because they're now better than everyone. And they'll be better than everyone until the next class update. Better? Me? No. I mean, the makers of this game, they're, they're really quite good. They, they patch things relatively quickly when they find their issues. And I believe there is an issue with this weapon. I'm not terribly sure what it is. I've made a few suggestions as to what it might be in this video. I, I'm not an expert on the functionality of these weapons. I'm not that much into the meta game of this. If there is a meta game, I don't really know how deep the meta game in Trials goes. But there must be people who are crunching the numbers somewhere. It is a reason popular game as it stands at the moment. So there must be someone out there who's doing the numbers and hopefully they're in contact with the developers and what we've normally seen is when a patch like this comes out the weapons tend to get tweaked within a couple of days so I fully expect tomorrow or sometime Monday maybe that we'll get a, they'll release a patch that will address some of the issues with this weapon. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it'll still be a good weapon to use and it won't nerf it into the ground. Because that doesn't seem like balancing anything. That just seems like pissing off everyone who bought the weapon and used all their XP or used all their gold to get this weapon. And then just nerf it the so that would be bad. That would be terrible. And that would not be a good way to treat your customers. Yes. Because, after all, they have to make money off of these people, and if they can't trust that the things they're buying will remain useful, i.e. not nerfed into the ground because they released something that was clearly overpowered, and then everybody bought it because it was overpowered and they wanted to try it. That just seems like sleazy tactics. If it was done on purpose. I don't think this would have been done on purpose. I think this would be a genuine mistake on their part if 
this does turn out to be overpowered. It's not turning, if it doesn't turn out to be overpowered, then my god, I'm good at this game sometimes. Scarily good. I've never, I've never been this good at something like Counter Strike. I've never been this good at Team Fortress 2. I've never been this good at any other game that I've ever played. This is this is my first instance of actually owning people, and it's slightly scary. I mean, am I going to turn into a troll? Am I am I am I going to start going on voice and going lord noob suck swords and? just generally being a dick about how good I am at the game, or, you know, maybe I'll just go play some Halo. Or Battlefield. Yeah, I'll go play some Battlefield. At least I don't have to buy an Xbox to play some Battlefield. I will probably have to sell my soul. I mean, after playing this, I don't really know if I want to play any other shooter. I mean, look, you fly through the air, you travel over 200 kilometers per hour regularly. You called in orbital bombardments, you fire plasma weaponry, it's fantastic. I love this game. It's awesome. And that's the end of the round. Now, let's see the kill count. There we go. 36 kills, 12 mid -airs. Died 16 times, 12 assists. I've never had that high a score ever. 30, nearly 35,000 points and 34 spent. I'm stunned. How many triple kills, double kills, revenges, mid air kills, air mails, dominate the statistics, top of the scoreboard. I've never done that before. And I put it all down to the plasma gun. It needs looked at. Seriously, it needs looked at.